time I'd wanted to write something about the Puritans, something book length, I couldn't stop thinking about John Winthrop, especially in his sermon, A Model of Christian Charity. His sermon is one of my favorite pieces of writing, and it's basically the reason I wanted to write the book. And I think, you know, the, obviously the most uh, famous tidbit from that sermon was um, Winthrop calling on his uh, shipmates to be as a city upon a hill. The reason I love the sermon is that it's basically this call for uh, community and brotherhood and um, literally as the title says charity and um, you know Winthrop tells his fellows that we are going to have to take care of each other, we should mourn together, rejoice together, suffer together. To me the most interesting thing about the Puritans um, who believed that they were God's new chosen people, you know, and we as Americans sort of inherited that idea from them. But the Puritans also just had this um, sense of wrath and reckoning and, and worry that they would fail their God. In America, we've kind of lost that sense of responsibility and, and worry about disappointing our God. The Wordy Shipment is uh, my third audio book and we have uh, music by Michael Giacchino who writes the music for the TV show Lost and uh, he did the music for The Incredibles. I also like, especially writing about history, to um, get some great actors to be the voices of those historical figures. So um, in this book uh, we have uh, John Winthrop is uh, voiced by Campbell Scott who's, you know, um, a really great actor. And then for Roger Williams we have uh, Peter Dinklage who has this like beautiful low deep voice and, and uh, even though uh, Williams can be a little kooky sometimes I really respect him a as a as a thinker. Roger Williams friendship with John Winthrop was one one of the um, one of the reasons I wanted to write the book and you know John Winthrop was the governor of Massachusetts and as such one of the magistrates who kicked Roger Williams out of Massachusetts for his you know, heretical um, ravings. Uh, someone warns Roger Williams, if you want to stay in America, you need to leave, just get out of Massachusetts. And the person who warned Roger Williams to leave was John Winthrop, the person who officially banished him. I'm always interested in friendship and, and just the idea of this like public rift and private friendship uh, kind of fascinated me.